Yoko's up from Japan. It's Claytonian here. Tell you about how to install a Japanese washlet really quick. See, for years, I thought it would involve some kind of, like, installation of a whole new toilet, and it would be impossible under my apartment contract. But then I looked into it, and I realized all you need is the lid uh, with its accoutrement. So, um... Here's how we did it. We took off that old junk, which used to be here. We put in this uh, goldish, brashish part, and the hose, and the bendy tube. Now, I watched a video on YouTube in Japanese about the, the whole installation process, and they're like, if you bend the tube too much, maybe the water won't work. And I was like, nervous, because it's like, it, it was so high. And the one in the video was like, down near the ground. But it worked. The only thing, is like the inside of this toilet got all uppity after that. Like I had to um, tighten and retighten, you know, um, the hose and uh, there's a there's a tightener on the in inner wall of the toilet there. And then uh, like this um, leads down into like a little rubber, uh, we'll call it a sock, because I don't know the terminology. And uh, that connected, you know, to, um, to this, ultimately. The water comes out of here, fills up the tank, when the tank realizes it's full, the balloon bladder thing goes up and it stops, right? But if this is not connected perfectly when you put this back on, it will just keep running all day. And uh, it actually tricked me. I thought it was okay at first. And then it, I got home from work um, a couple days later, it was like, hey, what's up? I'm running. And so who knows what my water bill is gonna be for that. But uh, I figured it out. Just you just gotta keep adjusting it till it flows properly. Uh, in the process, I messed with the handle. There's a bar inside that connects to the to the oh, what's it called? We'll call it a portal for the water to go down into there, all right? But I don't think I should have messed with that. It probably was not related at all. It's probably a fine seal. And now this only goes one way. But you know what? I think the whole um, big, small thing that is written on these is an illusion. Because it's just one bar and it, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like it's an illusion. But anyways, yeah, I got this running. Um, I had to push down on the, on the lid to, well, not the lid, but the seat to make sure that I could test it. Because um, I can't figure out how the test thing works properly. But now I have water shooting up my anus. Yeah. Goodbye.